Hello, and this is Nara from Retro Designs. Today we are going to talk on how to create a digital checklist in Canva. Right now we are in the Canva website and I'm going to go to custom design. I'm gonna, I, I am in the inches 8.5 by 11. I'm going to hit create a new design. After I have my template, I'm going to change this into a different color so you can see what I'm going to do. There are many different ways to create a checklist on Canva. Either you go to templates and you go into a checklist. You type a checklist. I already have it so I can show it to you. And then you choose one of the templates and then you change it uh, the way you want it or you moderate it the way you want it. Or you can go to elements and then go to tables. In my case, I'm going to choose uh, tables since I'm going to start from scratch. So I'm going to choose this table in here. I'm going to bring a little up so you can see what I'm going to do. Let me bring my rulers to see uh, where I'm going to put uh, my columns. I'm going to bring the uh, vertical and then I'm going to bring another horizontal. Okay. After I have my table, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to delete one of the columns in order to become only two. Then this little uh, line, I'm going to bring it here to the left and I'm going to calculate how they're going to be my squares that they're going to be for my checklist. After I do that, then let me bring a little bit more up so you can see it. A little bit more up. Okay. Then I'm going to go here to the left and then I'm going to start adding uh, rows. I'm going to add one row. Let me add another row. You add as many rows as you need or as you may think. It's going to be uh, your checklist. Let me add one more. Then I have, I think I'm going to bring this a little bit more here so the squares can show uh, more better. Okay, after I do that, then I go here into this uh, rectangle. I'm going to click the shift, I'm going to hold it. Then I'm going to go through all the rectangles. And then I'm going to, I will be changing the color. I go here on top and I change the color and I'm going to make it uh, white in this case. Then I'm going to bring a little bit here. So it's going to, I'm going to have a space to type uh, what I'm going to put on uh, my list. After I do that, then I'm going to go to the little squares. I'm going to hold the chip. Then I'm going to go all the squares in order to change them, the color also. Then I'm going to go here on top and press a white, which is going to be my color for the inside. And then here for the border, I'm going to add a little bit more weight. From zero, I'm going to go to three in order to create some kind of thickness and then I'm going to ch change into gray into black so this is going to be uh, the border the color for the border after I do that then I'm going to go to test and then I'm going to choose what I will be writing remove this so I can in in my case, I'm going to do a Christmas uh, checklist. So let me start um, uh, typing, like, what do I going to need uh, for my checklist? Like, uh, um, decorate uh, the tree, which is one of the first things that we usually we do on Christmas. From 36, which I'm going to put it a little bit, um, like it better maybe. Uh, reduce the size. I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to start uh, writing. What do I need? I'm going to duplicate. 
and then I'm gonna bring it here and I'm gonna tie what else I'm gonna need. Let me put this um so you guys can see like a bright a letter to Santa which also we can do let me put it here let me delete this so you can see it more better and let me bring it all the way here then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to write the what else I'm going to need I hang the stockings let me Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it here. And so far, you start uh, writing uh, whatever uh, you think. Do not make this video so bored. I already type more sentences for the checklist. Then I'm going to go to Elements, and I'm going to go to a Square, and from this Square, I'm going to bring it here, then I'm going to cover all the way this. The purpose for this is to cover these uh, rectangles, and don't show the rectangles, something more smooth, more uh, solid. Then I'm going to change from gray to white, then I'm going to go into position and send it back, and then I have a more solid uh, background. Then to decorate this uh, uh, checklist, I'm going to go to my uploads, and I'm going to choose one of my Christmas uh, paper, which I already did in the past. Then I'm going to bring it here, this uh, gray, I'm going to change it to white, and I'm going to bring my paper all the way here, so make it more fancy. And then I'm going to go into position and send it back. Then I'm going to remove my, my roller lines so you can see more better what I'm doing. And I also can see more better what I'm doing. As you see, I have a little, uh, I have to cover more to show uh, more better the, the paper. Okay, one more thing that you can do is go into these little uh, squares and change the color to make it more uh, decorated for the Christmas spirit. From black, I'm going to go to red. From uh, black again, I'm going to go into green. From uh, again, red. And then I will be bringing another uh, green and so far just to decorate uh, uh, the checklist a little bit more. Uh, as you see, I decorate the squares with different colors and this is uh, how it's going to be my Christmas uh, checklist. Thank you for watching and hopefully this helped you to create any kind of a uh, checklist that you need. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.